Welcome back to the channel everyone, Eurovision semi-final 2 did end very, like 10 minutes ago, so this is basically directly after this. And uh, let's talk about the semi-final, let's talk about the qualification songs, and we begin with Belgium. I did not expect Belgium to go through, but uh, he did, but uh, I was not expecting this. I think this is the song the jury loved, I think the jury saved the song. Uh, Czech Republic, I have to say, they have grown on me so bad, so good, and I love the fact that they closed the show, because that was a good song to close the show, and I almost wish they closed the finals also. I think that would help them, if Czech Republic closed the show. Uh, Azerbaijan with Manadir, I have to say, that staging was gorgeous, that, the, when it was performing on the stairs. The only thing, the criticism I have to say to Turin stage manager is that I don't like the camera angles when you see the people move the staging parts because like, what's wrong? Why? Uh, Poland, Ochman, great vocals, he's a fan favorite also, but to me, Poland is kind of like what I think of Greece. They, I mean, the fan favorite is them. For me it's going down because now it's going again and down closer closer to the finals. Um, Finland, Erasmus, Jezebel, I they did better than I thought. I was not expecting Finland to go through after before this, but they did. But um yeah, great for Finland. Woo! Uh, Estonia, love that. I love the staging. I wish they had a cowboy cowboy dual part still left in this. Uh, Australia, I kind of wish you watch about Australia because in the beginning I love the entry but I think his voice sometimes is so wobbly and so unstable but um, yeah he went through, I think that is the jury song also, I love Australia, I love the entry but okay. And Sweden, I have to say of all the songs this semi-final, I kind of think Sweden won this one. I think Sweden won this test semi-final. I don't know who is close enough to win this. Um, I have to say, I think the only one that can beat Sweden in this semi-final is, actually, is Czech Republic. I think those two are the standout songs in this semi-final. I think Sweden won this. Uh, Romania, yeah, it was sexy, but it was like, as my hubby thought, he thought that this was Spain. But it was sexy. It went through. And last last was Serbia. I was so close to expect Serbia was not qualifying. I was sitting there was like, okay, not Serbia. Wow. Serbia was the last entry out and I was like I thought she was not gonna qualify. But anyhow, let's talk about the entries who didn't qualify and is there anyone here I think was robbed? Uh, let's see here. Israel with Michael Ben David I am I, I don't know what, if the placement of the running or the placement hurt him because to me I was like it was a fun song, great entry, dancing, it was sassy, sassy, sassy and uh, I don't know if there's uh, any haters out there who didn't like that. I think the placement hurt him because usually the one who's going out as number two never goes to the finals. Uh, Georgia with Circus Mercus, do we even need to comment that? That was a no. Is a no. Malta, Emma Musket, I am what I am. I thought it was a nice entry, but it was a little bit too high school musical for me. So it was a sweet entry, but I don't think the song was strong enough to go through. San Marino, I don't know what I was watching. That was interesting. <laughs> we had a lot going on. We had bullet, you know, electric bull riding. We had some men gay kissing on the stage. I love that. We had some, some body art. I have to say that the guitarist in the green hair was standing on the left. I was like, he is pretty sexy. I was watching the guitarist more than the singer. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say about Ashi Loro with Stripper. That was an entry. That was very something. Cyprus, Andromache, Ella. I mean, when I saw the staging, when I was watching the, I saw the jury show before the show, I was saying that she had a beautiful staging, but as I was told, telling my hobby when we were watching, 
I said that the staging is beautiful, but I think her issue is that this is not a memorable song. The song is very sweet, but I, I said that I think the issue with Cypress is that the people was going to forget about the song. And she didn't qualify, so I guess people didn't care. Uh, Ireland and Miss Brooke, I I was expecting her to go through because after Cyprus and she was, you know, turning it up, but it was very Kids Choice Awards, Junior Eurovision, but it was still a fun, fun entry. North Macedonia, um, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this very gently, North Macedonia and Montenegro had the same problem for me because, and Cyprus, and no, North Macedonia and uh, Montenegro and Georgia for me were fill out acts. There was no way in hell that they those three was gonna qualify because those three those three countries for me was you go get the snacks. All three of them. Vlada and Andrea and Circus Mercus to me I was like No No way But is there any enter here I think is robbed? Again, no, I don't think so. I think that uh, I think the only one I can possibly say is Rob is Cyprus, but I was expecting her to not qualify because I was afraid because the song is, was not memorable. And my the only thing I think is Rob here is Cyprus and my maybe Israel. Israel and Cyprus are the only one I can say I think might be robbed. Other than that, I think this was a pretty safe semi final. This was pretty. I like I said I had I had eight out of ten rights. I had nine of the ten rights from the first, so this was pretty easy. The the go it was no no shocking like Moldova from the first semi final. So now we're gonna talk soon about who might win this whole thing. And as they say it, if Sweden was winning this semi final, which I think she we would did, uh, I think this is gonna be Sweden, the Netherlands, and Spain in the top three. Other than that, I have not much more to say about this semi-final. I think it was, this was pretty easy, and uh, yeah, these are the entries we got from the finals. Is there anyone here else who was like, <clears throat> No, it was pretty safe. Anyway, I hope you had a great night. Let's see the finals in two days. Please win a win.